Pope and Porter Jr. They're the two and the three. And it's Jackson in at the point. Duran against Porter. Five on the clock. Here's Paul. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. And the Suns lead by four. Chris Paul knows exactly not just who's going to hit him, but how they're going to hit him. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Buries it from three. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Outside Durant. Let's it go from deep. That's good from Paul. On the assist from Durant. Uh oh, I think they might have woken up that range from Chris Paul. He's capable from there. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Jackson against Paul. Now here's Jokic. And again, it's Denver converting. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both, but it gets close. He's getting the ball. No coverage that time. Greg's got 10 points in just the second half. And in the second half here, they're shooting a terrific percentage from three. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Jackson with it. Here's Caldwell Pope. Knocked loose. Stolen by Booker. Gordon against Craig. Over Gordon. Craig, no good. The Nuggets trail. Here's Caldwell Pope. Three-pointer. And that's good. Jackson for three. And Jackson showing off a little bit of his range that time. So confident in that release. Pass to Aiden. Outside Booker. Craig with it. Defended by Gordon. Craig passes to Paul. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Here's Porter to tie it up. Counted. That's his six field goal and 12 tries. And never lacking for confidence as Porter is not going to let a little bit of contact hold him up. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Back to Paul. And that comes off the assist by Durant. Paul's got seven points for the quarter. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Pass to Caldwell Pope. To the inside. Jackson. Oh, the bucket's good, and he'll have a chance at one more. It goes on Chris Paul. Oh, this team believes in Reggie, and Reggie, trust me, believes in Reggie. Shooting one. falls that puts him up one point in the game now it's been interesting as Reggie has finally seemingly found a home or at least confidence in the way he plays he's a guy who can carry you on offense and he will score in bursts and those will be very loud points Craig passes to Duran up and over Porter and the shot is good drop it in off the front of the rim man I'll tell you what the pressure is cranked up who better to call than this guy? Time, out, time, out. time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Nice game. Great performance by Devin Booker. Well, they got to be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down. And now we present our new balance player of the game, Devin Booker. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, just a tremendous motor. And he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. You think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Hey there, guys. Mike Malone was just reviewing the plan with his team. It's been a battle, and this is a brief chance for everyone to just regroup, collect themselves. He told them, quote, your efforts have been great so far, but this game can come down to one big play, one big shot. We can't let our guards down for one second. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Take 
break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Booker. Uh, Booker just one of these guys who's calculating on the offensive end. He's trying to figure out what defenses are doing. He's always working hard to find shots and he's going to influence the game with the way he can produce. Both free throws good from Booker. You might want to think twice before sending him to the line again. He gets locked in when the game gets close. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Outside Murray. Takes a three. The shot is good on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. One forty-nine left in the fourth quarter. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. That's got to feel good. A guy who can score stepping up and hitting buckets as important as that one. Second team foul. The line for Phoenix. Yeah, Van Booker. the line for one. Exactly what this team needs right now, completing the N1. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter here. Ball against Murray. Pass to Jokic. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. The officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on DeAndre Ayton. I mean, look at his face. Jokic knows he can do this. It's just a matter of execution. He hits the first one, and that brings him within two here. And Jokic just has that presence out there. Never looks like he's feeling any kind of pressure. Just that calm demeanor uh, really helps him in these clutch kind of moments. He's perfect from the line this time. Jokic gives you such a great foundation out there. He stays so level-headed. That's the kind of leader that this team has been feeding off of. Outside Booker, going inside. And it's Denver with a rebound. Jokic just got his seventh rebound here tonight. To the paint. Here's Murray. It's hauled in by the Suns. They've led by as many as 11. Pass to Booker. 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Take steady nerves right there. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up enough. Murray passes to Jokic. And he buries it. Oh, what a sensational bucket. That brings him within one. And it's Phoenix's ball. They'll probably slow things down now. Burn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. Six-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Back to Caldwell Pope. And stolen by Paul. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Yeah, you, know, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. At the line for Phoenix. Chris Paul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Two shots. Good on the first, and that'll put him up two. And at the line, Paul looks cool and collected. Like there isn't a lot riding on this trip. 
So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. That last one was a difference maker. It pushed it from a two-point lead to three. Timeout called. The Nuggets. They're down by three. There's 18 seconds left in the game. All right, guys, what's your take? If they leave the arc open, take it. But it may be safer to get a quick two and then foul. Don't force something up. you got to be smart here. Gordon finds Murray. Here's Caldwell Pope. Beyond the arc. Oh, my! What a shot! Oh, a tremendous three! We're tied! And the Suns call time here. Here's Booker. To win the game! Good! And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. So it's the Suns taking the W in a close one. What a performance they have here at home today. I'll tell you what, these are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. And that'll do it, folks.